Hi guys, this is going to be a first impression video. Uh, some of the newbies I bought it recently and some of the samples um, I was given just to try out and see if I like it. To start with, I want to try out this Givenchy Hydro Sparkling and Moisturizer. Looks like this. Whoop. And apparently it's just really nice and hydrating and it's just, oh God, I can see through the bottle that even though it's a sample, but actually inside is that much product. So not a full one. Then apply. Smells really nice and fresh. Oh, it's really fresh. So the next one is this Vitamin E Ice Cube by Body Shop. And I heard a lot of hypes about this one. It looks in this tiny little bottle. And it's kind of like cooling and so just kind of roll it up. And and just I'm gonna put it on the back of my finger instead of straight from the bullet. And then I just put underneath your eyes. And it is really nice and cooling. Go on, let's just put it straight. It is really nice and cooling. I'm just dabbing it with my fingers. I just recently went to Debenhams and it's just getting better and better. It's just such amazing brands there now. Um, excuse my cold if I talk a bit funny, but I just got blocked nose again. And I'm really excited. There's um, a lot of new brands there. First one was a skincare one, which is Ole Henriksen. Um, I bought these vibes. A lot of people and bloggers talking about it. So I thought, I'm just gonna try out, you know? So um, yeah, it says, um, cleanse, brighten and hydrate and it's really really fantastic um, smells like orangey very fresh and it's so so soft um, so I cleaned my face um, before just to try out for you guys um, yeah I really really like these uh, and then I see a cargo um, brand Really nice Too Faced stand as well. Um, so excited they got um, a fantastic eyeshadow palette, chocolate, chocolate palette, um, then neutral colours and brighter colours, and they've got a few more coming up soon as well. A um, few more palettes where they're gonna be all mapped. Um, I heard, and yes, I'm excited to try that out. A friend of mine said these um, Body Shop Organic Com um, pads are really, really good. So I bought to try them out. Um, they are made from 100% organic cotton, soft and gentle on the skin. So yeah, we'll see. I think it's really, really important what you use on your face, because um, we pretty much you know, clean our makeup on a daily basis. Um, I hope so and um, so um, yeah it's just really important you know what you're applying with and you know especially around eyes and then I stumbled across Burberry um, yeah I was really really excited and quite actually shocked that they finally finally selling in Debenhams usually they sell in Selfridges and you know in London you can order on the internet, but yeah, I was so excited they are selling Debenhams now. And I heard a lot, a lot about Fresh Glow Foundation. So she told me about a few more products, um, maybe I didn't know um, about, and um, just a few more products in general, why they're good, why they're different, and so on, so I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, so I was really, really keen to get um, fresh glow foundation but it's typical it's always always kind of my shades are sold out so I don't know apparently you know it's just like really top shade which is shade number 20 so she managed to get me a sample and I'm gonna try out 
I got a little prescription there. It's lightweight texture for natural and sheer finish, easy to apply, melts on any skin like veil, no sensation, leaving the complexion fresh and dewy for an effortless, radiant and healthy look, guarantees continuous hydration for the skin and Wild Rose provides uh, moisturizing benefits. So I'm excited to try that out together with you guys. So first impression, um, shade 20, so I got a little pot and she also gave me shade number 34 and 34 is darker i it's going to be perfect for me for summertime she also gave me quite you know decent foundation and i just dislike when you go ask for sample or you want to try out before you spend over 30 pounds for foundation it's a lot of money so um you know and they put one square on it it's like really one squirt for, I'm sure you can afford more than that. So it's just rah, so annoying sometimes, but she was very generous. Um, so I'm gonna use on my good old Duo Fibre Face Brush by Real Techniques. I love this brush because it doesn't let you to pick up much product, so you won't be cakey. And let's just try that out. See what this all is about. It is perfect shade for me at the moment but for summer I'll be shade 34 so it's true what they say I like this. So far, so good. I've got these spots on my cheeks. I don't know whether they will ever go away, but um, I'm trying to look after my skin. Heck, here And I can tell you, I really, really like this foundation it's just so it's so lightweight indeed and it is illuminating so it's just really nice fresh glow if you're one of those who like natural fresh kind of dewy not too dewy um, finish then this is your guy so also she gave me this little she said to try out this primer it's nude radiance number one you can use this as a primer but you can also because it's quite illuminating you can also put on top of your foundation right cheek area so it gives you that nice glow let's just pop that on top of my it's just really nice Not, it's not shimmery at all it just gives that nice illuminating effect and then I received in this month Birch Box um, blusher by RMK in shade Sugar Pink so I'm gonna try that out it's really nice fancy packaging and it's generous amount of blusher I think it's gorgeous like pinky but it's very glowy as well just really really nice kind of pinky but not too pinky I don't know if you can see it there nice Zoeva 127 brush just on up of my cheeks as we're going for that nice natural fresh look And then I stumbled across models own like a little boudoir typey thing right in the middle of the shopping center. It was loads of models own nail polishes and they had a deal, five items uh, for 20 pounds so you can mix and match. Uh, color chrome body tattoos, um, this one here. And I love it so much. 
so what I think I'm gonna do, what one of the girl had it as well, she kind of cut it out these little triangles and then put on the nails here. And also another great idea is you can cut out like little triangles or any some kind of like a star or anything like that and then apply kind of on your fingers as well. I think that would just look so cute um, and just very funky. This one also is from the model's own um, new chrome nail polishes. Um, looks like this and it is number Chrome Olive MP240 and I got some Modelone Academy Gel Eyeliner in black it's long lasting intense black eyeliner just you know ordinary black eyeliner with and it comes with a little brush so it's going to be easy to apply then I got this one um, Models own Academy Dip Twist and Go Remover, so it's nail nail polish remover. So they claim you open it and then you kind of twist your finger around and then it will take your nail varnish away. Um, I'm going to try that out and there's a strawberry scent there as well which is great so it's not very strong. Uh, they have bourgeois one like that and I'm not very big fan of it so you kind of really have to twist around and there's like a little sponge in it and it kind of I found doesn't rub off nail polish as quick but um, yeah I'm happy to try this one out also yeah they said dries out in 30 seconds and I'm like yeah 30 seconds you're joking but okay maybe not 30 seconds but honestly it's such a fast drying nail polish highly recommend you they also got so many different colors this models own academy nude palette and the lady said that ace is at the moment reviewing and says this is what you have to have in your handbag so really nice compact packaging and and the colors are beautiful so it's like a little mirror which is handy and the colors are beautiful one matte and four i can't count it's six of them, one matte and five shimmer ones. So I think it would be great for spring, great for a like nude smoky eye look, uh, for daytime look, and then you can jazz it up for nighttime. So yeah, really, really nice. I was so impressed. This light one all over the lid. It's quite pigmented as well you can see which is really good yeah I really like that it's gonna be really freshy glowy look here and then I'm gonna take like a big fluffy brush and then kind of take this taupey typey shade and put that in my crease MAC 217 and then I think I'm going to take this kind of darky bronzy browny typey colour and then I'm going to put on the outer corners of my eye and pat it in to put underneath halfway And then maybe take, let's use this little brush and then take this darker colour and then I'm going to put kind of really close to the lash line. Kind of a bit more define my eyelash. Again, halfway and underneath as well. This is not kind of my type of brush I would use, but let's use it. What we got? I'm going to be applying mascara, but I'm going to do that 
behind the camera but I really hope you enjoyed it I really like the products I got and I'm looking forward to try them out more and do like different looks so really hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching and seeing my next video thank you bye